Now, can you see that there is quite a problem? Hello friends, welcome to day two of Stash Week, the mini-series that I have for this year's Vlogmas, wherein I show every item that I have for a particular category of like stationery or art supplies. Today's video, I intended it to actually be um, pens and markers and like highlighters and stuff, anything that puts like ink to paper and it just spiraled out of control actually because as you can see here in front of you, none of them are actually pens, highlighters, markers or whatever. Um, the thing was is that I am actually currently um, reorganizing my whole art section for my like room and when I was pulling out all of the pens markers and all of that stuff for this video I came across all of like my paints and like um, I'm already going to like be showing you later like my colored pencils so why not add paint to the mix and then if I'm going to like show you paints why not I show you my ink as well so we're starting this off like very chaotic already. I feel like I'm already overwhelmed because I'm going to do this by batch. So I am showing you stuff and then I'm organizing it on like the drawers that I have on my desk. We do have like a single table wherein all of the drawers are like for me and my stuff, my art supplies. And then the top of the table is like storage for my brother's stuff for his like keyboard building and such. So I pulled out all of the paints related first and then you're going to see how chaotic it is later when I pull out all of my pens and markers. So yeah, let's start with like the easy ones first. I expected myself to have like a lot more paint, but then again, as I'm looking at this, this is not as much as like um, it being like too difficult to manage. Um, I'm going to start with like my uh, inks first actually. I do have like just one set of Winsor & Newton inks. Um, they come in like a set with a dip pen. I actually uh, have like my uh, fountain pen and dip pen with like my pen stash so that is why it's like not here as of the moment so i'm just going to show you the inks so i have like the gold the deep red and the black indian ink because they came in a set i actually bought this at like a local calligraphy shop just nearby our house and i went there actually like after um clocking out of work one time and as i was there like it was like the last day of them having a sale for these and it started to storm in the middle of me walking there. So I remember it was flooding. I had to brave the flood. And when I came home, I had to like wash up because I was like soaking wet, even though I had an umbrella. It was like a very bad storm. So at least I have like a tiny bit of like um, memory attached to these inks. I did like use this for like uh, inking in an artwork that I made like back in 2019. However, that's as far as I went with these. Um, the gold one's like very pretty because it has shimmer and such. However, this is like very dried up. I don't know. I have to like reactivate this or something. Um, we'll see because like, look at that. So bad. So I'll have to see what I can do with this one. But if um, this doesn't do anything, um, it might just end up being like just paint or something. Uh, we'll see about it. I'll have to research because it's like very dried up and the liquid part is like very small. But the black one is still fine. I still use this black one for my dip pens from time to time. We'll see about that. And the other like um, ink that I have is my Parker Quink, the quill ink in blue-black. This is like my favorite one and the only one that I have actually um, of this particular size. I remember asking my dad when he went to Manila like years ago to buy me like a refill for um, ink. And uh, I don't know why, but we chose this blue-black quill ink. But now that I discovered that I do have like a Parker fountain pen, this is what I use. And I used to use this as like ink wash for like when I do um, sketches, like my shading and such. I use this one, like a watered down version. Like you put a, um, a bit of ink, like a few drops of ink into water in like a water, like this one, like a water brush, like a portable water brush. And then it will become um, ink wash. And so that's what I use this for, but currently I am inking my uh, Parker fountain pen in this ink and I'm trying to see if like in 2024 if I will be able to use this up because it's like a third left, I believe, after all of these years. Next we have here are all of like my watercolors, so um, I will do like the tubes first, I guess, because there's only two. So while I was looking at like the stash that I have here for like my um, tubes and such, I realized that... I was wondering why this was, I actually filmed a bit wherein 
I said that I bought gouache while I went to when I went to Manila at last in 2018, I believe, for like my graduation like celebration, I bought gouache and I was looking at this shoe and saw that it was the Pebeo brand and I was like, I don't think that Pebeo was the brand that I chose for my gouache. So I was wondering why. Then I realized I was looking through again like another shelf of mine and realized I still have these. Oh my god. So um it turns out the one that I bought from that Manila trip that I have, we went to like book, uh, we went to fully book, and this was actually the very first gouache set that I had. I think I'm probably going to throw this like um, cardboard out and just relocate this set. But this is the gouache set that I bought during the trip. It is a De La Roni, and then I also bought this palette to use with this. And then I realized that I'm not actually a tube girly. I don't really enjoy using um, like tube types, and I also don't know how to use gouache actually. So for the time being, it, this is here. I might play around with it, not sure. And then I realized that this gouache was actually given to me by my friend who moved to Canada, and she didn't like want to bring all of her stuff there when she moved. So she gave me her gouache set, and I have a lot of like gouache to play around with. So I probably will just have to like consolidate this and just put it there. It doesn't matter. We can see like the difference in brand. Probably someone is cringing right now, but we'll have to deal with that. And I'm just going to uh, put this inside my drawer as it is and remove all of the cardboard. And then the next set of tubes here that we have is actually a Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolor set. This is fairly like brand new. I got this at like, when did I get this? Like a few months ago. So my dad's friend actually has a wife that teaches watercolor and pastel and also like does art exhibits in Manila and she had an extra Cotman set and she knows that I do art. However, like for the past two years, I guess, I haven't touched like paint at all. So I only swatched these and then haven't touched it ever. So I will probably use this in like uh, an art in the future, we'll see. But I really love Win Winsor & Newton Cotman set. I always watch like videos wherein they use the Cotman watercolors. However, as I said, I'm not necessarily like a tube girly. I am more of like pants. That's why there are a lot of pants or watercolor pan sets here. So these are all experimental. The gouache are experimental, tubes are experimental. And I have more of like the um, pan sets. So I'm going to start with like the cheapest one first. These are like the cheapest ones that I have. Artex Fine is, as you can see, looking very vintage because this is like one of the very first like watercolor sets that we have here when I was still a child. This is actually very much broken. This is not from my childhood. I do have another one of this, but I bought this. As you can see, it's already broken. I bought this like around three or four years ago, maybe probably five years ago. Um, these are like very chalky types of watercolor, basically for children, but I do have like a nostalgic feeling for this whole like look. That's why I bought it and it's quite cheap actually. As I said, it's for like children, for like kids, and I just wanted to like buy another set of this just for nostalgia's sake. So I have that. I do have like missing like oranges and greens and pinks and blues here that are missing from the pan, but that's fine. Um, this is like for decoration purposes and like making me happy just to see it whenever because this reminds me of like me as a five-year-old starting to learn how to paint for the first time mixing colors and such so this is one the other one i think i don't recall if this is a fiber castell or what is this brand as you can see i didn't even i didn't even take out like the brush here like it's still in the tape however this is also very much chalky um once you finish using this uh pan set if you rub your finger over like the artwork that you did it uh, transfers the color here so i don't know i don't like using this so if ever like somebody like a child or something wants to like just do a little bit of painting i would probably give this to them so yeah i don't recommend this next is the prang oval semi-moist watercolors i really do love this i, I really like the prang brush i do have like a, a bunch of brushes as well but they're with the pens and such but i do have like a brush here from prang and this is like a semi-moist very shiny um watercolor set and um i only bought this because i saw like this is like the influence of the internet again i bought this like three or four years ago as well like together with this one because i saw this off of the internet and they use this usually for like um watercolor calligraphy and I really like seeing that I was so into bullet journaling during that time. So I've been using like some of this for like, it gives like a shiny sheen after you paint with it. So that's why I bought it. And I used 
some of the black, some of the yellows, and some of the reds, but the others, not quite that much. But it's still nice. I still recommend this for like, if you're just wanting like a very simple palette, it's good enough um, for like lettering and such. So I do recommend Prang if you're like on a budget, but still want that watercolor textures or like watercolor feel for your like bullet journals and journals. Next we have here are two of the same palettes. So this is like the very first watercolor palette that my dad ever got me like as I want to learn how to do watercolors. So this is the Sakura Koi Watercolor Pocket Field Sketchbook. So this is the same basically, this is the packaging. Um, as you can see here, there's like a pen. I removed it because this cannot fit because this is not the um, water brush that it is with. I already broke a bunch of water brushes as like uh, time goes on and this is probably like my fifth water brush that I have. This is the favorite Castell one. I really like the size of this and also like how I grip it. So this is why this is the one that I have kept with. So if you like press down on the water brush, it dispenses like water and yeah, that is why this is like very easy for traveling. And I've been using this palette for also like for like my bullet journal paintings because it is like the very accessible one that we had during that time. Um, I really did use up a bunch of like the whites on this one and also like the purple and such. It's like um, breaking off, but it's fine. It's still usable, but I haven't touched this um, since I stopped bullet journaling. And for some reason, like last year, um, Ali also gave me the same set because she's an architect. She was supposed to use this for like projects and such for her like college like degree or such. She never used this and she gave it to me and I was like, fine, I'll, I'll take it. And it, this is basically the same. This is like the same packaging and such. You can see it's the same size. So it's the exact same palette that I have. So I had this at 2015 and I got this like 2022 or 2021. So those two are like my, so I have basically reserved for something that I have been practically not been using for quite a bit. So this is probably my sign to go back to watercoloring. I do have like plans on going back. I'm just not sure yet. And then here we have um, Kuratake Gansai Tambi, one of my favorite palettes of all time because this is like gum arabic. As you can see, I have like a swatch um, here. Quite a limited amount of colors to be perfectly honest, but I really do love like, it's also semi-moist, glossy. Um, I really love that it's a big pan, so every time I use like a brush over this, I feel like I'm like one of those Chinese calligraphy writers writing on a scroll because of how big the pans are. And I really did use quite a bit of this black because I also use this for like calligraphy and such, and um, it gives like a glossy feel after the ink dries um, because of the gum arabic. And I really love this palette. I really wanted to buy like the very big one. However, it's kind of lucky that I didn't buy the very big one because I have stopped using watercolors. But um, probably this is one that I usually um, grab whenever I want to do like watercolors, even though like the palette is very much limited and I have to mix my own purples. So this is my favorite, like one of my favorite ones. I got this uh, for my birthday. I forgot what year this was, like probably 2017 around the time or 2016. And then the very last one, and also probably the most expensive that I have, are two palettes of Jane Davenport's. Oh, dear. I haven't used or like opened this, um, and it's stuck. There we go. And I got this in 2018 as well. I do have like years when I bought them. So I have, like, oh my god, this is like, I should probably throw this. Um, away or like wash it maybe I don't know because it's very dirty anyway as I said I haven't touched these in like years so I do have like the neutral as well as the bright like these are very old sets but I do have like my favorite I do love this ink color like this is like my very favorite color of all of like the pants that I have I also love um, the Raven one I use these watercolors when I did inktober wherein I painted like monochrome birds and I use a bunch of these colors I really also love the royal one so those are like darker shades that I really enjoy and I did not necessarily put this in a way um, that is like the same with all of the like swatches like this way I instead use both of the same like, I did this, basically. I did a swatch like this one, and that's how I organized because these are all of, like, my favorites, and if I need reference, I did, like, write the name 
there on the individual pans. Like, I really enjoyed making this, actually. This is, like, one of my favorites. I've been very precious with this palette, actually. But this is also, like, my go-to palette whenever I use or, like, paint a few bits and pieces in my journal and art journal. And this is, like, the extras that I don't really gravitate towards. Like these ones. And I also have, like, an extra pan here. This was a mistake, actually. This is Pearlescent Green. I forgot what brand. I think it's Faber-Castell. Or, like, no, it's the... What is that? Uh, Fine Tech? Um, it was very, uh, like, very popular when I started watercolor. And they are, like, these single pans of, like, pearlescent or gold. Like, if you watch a bunch of, like, bullet journal content, you would see, like, like palettes of these, like, gold and silver. I only bought one because I don't know what I was doing. And I got the pearlescent green one. I really love the color green. Like, green was one of my favorite colors when I was in college. And I got this, and you can barely see it, actually here you can barely see it but the good thing is that if you like have like a darker color and then you layer this pearlescent green there and it gives like that shimmer it's very pretty actually so those are all of like the paint palettes tubes inks that i have and allow me to like take a quick break and pull out all of the pens markers highlighters um like bunch of stuff that i have prepared last night and i'm already exhausted actually so yeah i'm going to be back in a bit it's going to be like a few seconds for you guys, but it's probably be like a 30 minutes or an hour for me. So I'll be back. So I actually have a list here, like prepared. I forgot to mention this yesterday, but in yesterday's Stash Week episode, wherein I showed all of the notebooks in my stash. If you haven't seen it, I will link it down in the description. Um, you could go check that out later, but spoiler alert, I had 17 notebooks there in that video. I forgot to like I that I had to count down, um, count each and every one of these. That is why I'm kind of a bit stressing because I am going to have to like count each and every pen that I have here in front of you. So yeah, I do have like a notepad here just so I could remember how many there are and as for like my paints earlier i do have one two three four five six seven eight palette types three sets of tube types which is like the two sets of gouache and one winsor newton set and four bottles of ink one of them is almost dead so what i'm going to do here as of the moment is to kind of like organize these um or i I don't know. I, I was thinking of like picking out one at a time randomly and then talking about it and then whether or not to throw it or not. But I think I'm just going to like put this over music, organize this first and then talk to you about them. Um, I do have a bunch of like categories here. You have colored pencils, you have fine liners. I have like dip pen. This is, like my, this is the dip pen that I'm talking about earlier. I have um, refills, pencils, highlighters such a mess this is why i feel overwhelmed early like last night when i was preparing this but well take it slowly i'm going to grab like a recycling like plastic bag so that i will like start chucking stuff <sighs> we'll see <laughs>
So to be perfectly honest, I believe that somebody out there watching me do this is like big stressing on how I organize this stuff. However, I'm just going to uh, pop in here for a bit and kind of like show you what um, my way of organizing this is. So what I'm going to be doing now actually is to one by one try my best to like see if the stuff that are in here still works as well as in like these markers i have here all of my big brown sticks paint brushes of course i'll just leave it there um all of my pens and miscellaneous stuff here fine liners brush pens brush markers whatever it is here um the bigger like posca and highlighters are in here i do have like a bunch of colored pencils but we'll just uh, talk about that later so for now I'm going to organize all of these that are in here in these two boxes so whatever that i find that i am not going to be using just yet i'm going to be putting them in here hopefully um in this little canvas bag all of these will fit and those that i know that i will be immediately like um i'm going to like bring like on my bedside i'm going to be putting it in here this is like my new pouch um like pen pouch that I have right beside my bed so I'm going to go through all of this and then um, tally as best as I can how many of each pen or marker I have but I'm going to just do this over music I guess it will be faster I'll just speed this process up and then we'll talk about it in the end
okay, technically, this is done and sorted. And I'm not going to count these five pens because I'm going to put this in like our family communal, like whenever we go out or like go to like the hospital or something and we need pens for documents or like go to government offices. We do have like pouches wherein we prepare like black pens. So I'm going to not count that to my stash. So this is all that I have counted for like the markers. I do have, I do have three pasta pens that still work. Three art lines, 25 of these types, like the hodgepodge of like Crayola super tips. I have here um, the Tombow uh, dual brush pen. I do have here uh, MNG sign me. This has been like long standing. Um, this has been since high school, and I still have it. I do have like Stabilo point eighty eight here. Just a few of them, or just one of them, technically. Faber Castell. I use these for like highlighters, so I have those. So technically, all of my markers are 37 in total highlighters i have in here nine of them technically 10 i don't know where my pastel yellow is i think it's with my mom i do have all like collection of all of the pastel stabilo boss highlighters that i should not have bought all of them because i have had them since college and i still haven't used up any of them so nine technically 10 highlighters um pencils i did put all of like my pencils both um from like freebies um some that i actually bought as like uh like the stetler uh lumograph ones i have these supposed to be i should throw this away but i'm still using it because it's kind of a bit broken here at the top but we'll see if it still lasts i do like um 07 like the thicker pencils more but i am very much enjoying my palomino blackwing currently for drawing this is the newest one that i bought so uh, I'm using just this. So 21 pencils. For pens, I do have 30 of them. Like, all of them are either in this baggie. I, as you can see earlier, I do have a lot of those. Like, this one, my big round stick. Because I have, like, a phase back in 2018 wherein I only use pen to sketch and draw. And I bought, like, two packs worth of this because it's, like, cheap and it's very nice to work with. So I'm donating the black one because I don't use the black one. And I still have a ton of the colored ones. As you can see, I do have... Um, Acroball, this is when I was still working at the hospital and we needed a red ball pen. I have that. I have technically so many red ball pens. I do have like refills. Still a lot of those. Still trying to work my way through that. So 30 um, pens and 14 refills. I do have like a bunch here that I am trying to use up. So these are like all of the pens that I am actively using on a, on a daily basis, like beside my bed. And then we have 13 paint brushes. I downsized a bit because I do have like these, whenever it's like the blue one, this is from my paint by number set. They come in like brushes as well. And this is the only one I'm keeping because it's like the angled brush. Um, some of these, technically I don't like these. Um, the um, Tri-Grip Faber-Castell brushes, but I'm keeping them anyway. Um, the ones that I really actively use whenever I paint are just four. Where is it? Oh, this one. So this Reeves um, nylon hair number ten is my favorite. This is like the first paintbrush that I bought for myself, and I really love this. I really love how um, I use it, even if like in like lettering or like just painting in general. But I also really love the Scrivio Professional series number two, six, and ten is the one that I bought. Like ten is for the larger areas. Six is technically the one that I use when I watercolor and for two it's like line work and such. Even though I do have like a line work brush that is very thin but it's fraying quite a bit. This is the Montmartre like liner brush. Anyway, I also have like this is the other Reeves nylon but I don't like this this is like for textured so I don't like to use that at all. Um, this one is the Reeves Pony Hair. I just wanted to try it, but it's I, I'm not used to this. I like the nylon better than Pony Hair. This is uh, technically nylon as well, angled brush. But these two, as you can see, they're long. I believe this is for like oil painting. That's why it's technically very long. It's, it can't fit in like my stash at all. What I have here is my dip pen. I have a, like, this is a pair. I did buy two of this. One is for myself in, like, the very blush pink glass color. And there is another green one that I bought for my best friend for, like, just out of a whim. Just, we, we do love, like, dip pen, calligraphy, and such. So I use my, like, um, Winsor & Newton inks using this one. Um, I do have, like, my colored pencils. I have this set. 
Prismacolor 72. I got this um, when I graduated, or was it my birthday, I guess? Prismacolor is in 72. I do use this sometimes, but I'm being very precious with it because it's very expensive. My go-to is usually these ones. This is the Crayola, uh, this is the Crayola set. I do have this by my bedside whenever I want to like color um, spreads or like my doodles with. So this is like my go-to because it's cheap. It's accessible, very many, and I just like using them. This is like the first set that I've been using ever since, and I technically know how to use this and blend with this. So this is like my go-to colored pencils when I use colored pencils. I also have this one. This is the Pentel brand of uh, colored pencils. Um, <laughs> technically, I haven't used this. I also have like Faber-Castell ones, like the tiny ones. I do have another set of like Faber-Castell ones. I do have a friend that is like a comic artist and he borrowed like a my set of Faber Castell colored pencils like back before uh, the pandemic around 2019 and it's 2023 now and I haven't heard from him so technically it, I, I don't consider that part of my stash anymore although I kind of feel a bit like sad because the pouch that it came in like the one that i used uh, for that set i should have just given him this one because i don't like this hard shell um it's very fairly cheap but the pouch that i used for that set is like very like something that i really like using like it's the standing one that you open at the top and it stands well uh what's done is done it has been four years already so technically i don't have to like think about it anymore it's considered as like a gift for him anyway i have two technically three fountain pens i don't have this one ink i don't know what brand this is even it says youth it's like engraved however i don't have that one inked this one is like the cheap ones like the one you technically see in most like stationery shops like the basic ones i don't know if I, it doesn't have ink anymore technically this is like the ink wherein you just shove it in like this one the cartridge small cartridge like i'm trying to find like a place where i can buy those but if i don't have any i would probably just just chuck this because i do have this one this is the um parker 58 was it this is from my grandfather and my mom got it and then now i got it this is where i inked up my um blue black ink from earlier this is kind of dried out because i haven't used it in a bit like a few months so yes i need to like ink this up again Oh yeah, there's no ink left in there. So, this is like a little pump anyway. So I really want to use this for 2024. That's why I have it here with all like my erasers and my sharpeners for some reason. But yeah, I do have like put this can't fit in there. So, yeah, this is by my bedside and the rest mm, need to fix. Need to like there's still like a bunch of junk here that I need to sort through. I do have a bunch of like refills. I put this in like a very big. This is supposed to be like a Meiji like choco baby um container and i do have the 05 2 bs as well as the 07 2 bs in here i just want to keep them all in one spot I do have like white outs and tapes and oh my god still a lot of stuff in here that i need to sort through but i won't be including um these ones in like the stash video because this is technically extras and so now i move on to the stuff that i actually am throwing out i don't know uh, as of the moment i think i'm just going to keep this in like a baggie or something because i want to show this in like the wait hold on let me zoom in um, i want to include this in the like um empties video these two uh, where's the other one i don't know i'm i'm, I'm trying i'm going to try to clean this out first i'm not going to throw it but this is the one that i used for the ink wash so this is a sakura um water uh, travel water brush um it's stuck I i'm going to try later this is like a just a general regular one i think i'm going to just chop this one out um because it's black and it's harder to clean um this one i will try to um salvage but if not then this is also going out i have a bunch of pigment microns here that either ran out or i don't like using anymore i don't like using the brush one because these fray quite a bit once i use it i'm very much heavy-handed and these frayed quite a bit so i rather use other brands of brush markers or brush pens I use this use these um this i don't know how to use the art line paint marker i tried to use this but it's very stinky and i don't like using them and then this i'm kind of a bit sad about this is my very first like muji um highlighter this was gifted to me by like one of my college friends for helping him out with i forgot what i helped him out with to be perfectly honest but he went to like manila i believe he was like in a sort of debate competition or like some sort of competition and then i technically helped him with like gathering of notes like i gave him like 
um, our lecture notes and do like tell him what our assignments were. Um, basically, we're just we're just like um, part of the same group of friends. But he when he came home, he um, brought me like a Muji highlighter that I used in college, and now it's all dried up. This one I don't also like. Some of these I was trying to like hoard because I could like refill these. But thinking about it now, I should just chuck them. I still have other duplicates of these, so I'm not going to think too much about this. This I'm I'm thinking of like probably refilling this one. I think this is refillable. Maybe probably I don't know. I I'll see if I'm able to like refill this, and if I'm able to find a refill for this, I'll just have to um I'll just give it to my best friend. He she does like superhero related stuff a lot of these are like um used up or dried up from over the years that i don't like using anymore this one the pentel multi pen i don't know where to buy a refill for this this was given to me by my brother from taiwan um together with another multi pen that i have but i don't know where to find a refill for this so i'm still searching for it so leave it there this still works but i don't like it anymore so i'm going to chuck that more of like the paint brushes from my um, paint by number set and also this is like from the uh, what you call this uh, the tri grip set I, I, I don't mind I'm, I'm just gonna check it don't care anymore um, this one is actually a gift from like my nurse friend back when I was still working at the hospital however it's like broken down and like um, I thank you if you're watching um, thank you so much for this I really appreciate you giving a gift for me for Christmas and I have used it up and use it very well. I really enjoyed using the pen that you gave me. However, it's now been well loved and well used and very dirty. So um, I'm just going to give this um, up. And I still have memories of this. So at least it's still there. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep or not. Or just maybe put this like in the communal. Um, it's not working anymore. So I, oh, is it still working? It's still working. It's still black. So I'm just going to put this in like the communal pens in like our living room whenever we need it. This is already broken. I do have like a bunch of like uh, eraser pens from the past and it's all like broken down. So I'm going to give those up. And that is it for all of these um, chaotic pens and markers collection that I have. And I'm glad actually that I have removed quite a bit from all the collection. I am working on downsizing all of these. Hopefully by 2024, there will be a ton lesser amount of markers and pens in my collection but we'll see who knows we don't know what will happen in the future but yeah as of now i am going to focus on this and on this i realize i'm zoomed in so i'm very big um focus on these ones first we'll see about this and this hopefully 2024 will be an artful year for me so that i could use up a bunch of these stuff but that is it for today tomorrow as I'm already like anticipating on like what the video is going to be for tomorrow. I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm expecting that it will be even more of a chaos compared to today. So look forward to that if you're interested in seeing me struggle. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that this sparks an awareness for all of us hoarders of art supplies to look back at our stash and see what we love to use and what we don't love to use and if you don't like using them if they ran out and after three years you're still not using them it's better to let them go so yeah thank you again for hanging out with me and i will see you in tomorrow's video so until then guys take care and bye